Hey, this is Chris from Stark Expand with yet another video. And today we'll take a look at System.io and how to sell digital products and services on a website. No WordPress required. You don't have to have WordPress. And stick with me throughout this video because at the end you will know how to make a website, how to keep the design simple yet effective, and also how to highlight your products and services on the website to sell. And if you are interested in this software, I will leave a link in the description below and it's entirely free to sign up and get started today. All right, let's get to the meat and beans. All right, so let's get started with making a website where we can sell our services and products and we will sign in to system. And if you don't have an account, you can sign up for free under two seconds. And we will go to blogs this time. We'll go to blogs and we'll click create a blog. We'll give our blog a name for this example, just test and what will be the URL path to your blog. So we'll go with test and create. And honestly, this is just how easy it is to set up a homepage. And we can just take a look at the blog by clicking show blog. And it's set up a very standard blog, but as you can see, it looks like a fully functional website to me. We just need to do some modifications to this. So we'll close this tab and we can start by going with blog layout, for example. Blog layout, this will be your header and your footer, and you can exchange your image for something else, a logo that you have. And we can go out to our menu item as well. And we can add new menus. For example, about, this will be a slash about page like that. And so, and we can click save changes. And also you can modify, of course, anything that you want in the footer as well. Social icons and stuff like that and we can exit out of this and we can go to either posts or pages pages will be your website's pages and we can edit our home page over here by adding a by clicking the edit button this will take up the content of your website and one thing that I want to show you, which is awesome, is the blocks element. So if you want to add some kind of template, for example, on opt-in form, you will get a bunch of great templates that you can just drag and drop into your website, I believe. Let's split there. Like, this is how easy it is to create a section where you have a beautiful opt-in form with a offer. Uh, let's just delete this one. And we'll see what we have else in the blocks section. So we have pricing plans. So pricing plans, for example, would be great if we are selling some kind of product or service online. And a recommendation is always to be as transparent as you possibly can on your website because transparency helps with the credibility for a customer that is visiting your site so we can just drag in a block choose your plan fill out what the product is about and when it comes to website design there are some key elements that you should think about First and foremost is the hero section, which, should be, which is the first page that loads once they open your homepage and what they see right there and there. So it will be a title, a subtitle, and a big button for a call to action for them to take. And this is something that you want to hone in on and craft and make it as crystal clear as possible them to take action um, so they understand what your website is all about. And you also want to have some kind of about us section in your page, uh, in your homepage. 
you want testimonials we don't have any testimonials uh, you want a frequently asked questions section as well some pricing and how to take the next step with you if they want to work with you one-on-one -on -one, for example um, let's see what we have testimonials do you see blocks testimonial section so even before we show them the price we want to show them what other customers thinks of our products and look this looked awesome so we'll drag it in uh, over here somewhere or just add it and we can move the section up by the arrows so one up one up one up again one up so here you have some cool testimonials with your real <laughs> costume testimonials pictures and uh, quotes from your customers and even screech screenshots you can add before you show them your pricing plan and this is just one part of it another part of it is of course that they need to be able to buy something as well so this url when they click on get started can go to a to a page which you will designate a URL. And to get to that page, you will have to create some kind of funnel or a, I will show you. So let's just save changes, exit out of this. We'll go to funnels. We'll click, uh, all right, I have an old funnel, so I will take it away, delete. We'll create a new funnel, which would be to sell a product or service. Give it a name. And here we have a order form. So we'll set up a quick order form that looks good. That's simple for them to be able to buy your digital products. Let's preview this one, for example. Yeah, perfect. We'll go with that. Select it. And as you can see, you will get a URL pathway. We will set up our resources, offer price plan. We need to connect Stripe and PayPal. It's super easy to do it once you just click add integration. And we'll edit our page. And once you have set up a product and your integrations, everything will be taken care of in this field how much you want to take uh, in the pricing. And we want to exit out of this. And this is the URL path. So we can just view funnel, copy this, and then we can go to our blog, go in to the homepage, edit again. We'll go down and add the link on the get started like that save changes and we can exit out of this and view our site show page so articles contacts about check check testimonials check choose your plan 39 per month get started and you get to a checkout page you can fill out your credentials and get paid and of course once you get paid they can go on to your um, products and services if it's a product a digital course for example and you have created a course you will funnel them inside of that if it's more a personal coaching business or one-on-one -on -one, you can insert a calendar function, for example, so that they can book a time with you for consulting or coaching. This can also be done by just adding a HTML block. Uh, too many pages open right now. Just by adding an HTML block inside of your home page. So we'll go to raw HTML. And if you use Calendly, for example, you will just enter your Calendly code over here, add in, save, and it should work, I believe. 
save changes. Let's check it out. And there you have it. You have a booking calendar system inside. How awesome is that, right? It's so easy to create a website nowadays. So now you know how you can create a website in minutes, add testimonials, add a plan, get paid for your services, or book a call with you on your personal calendar system and take it from there. I hope this video was helpful. And now I want to turn the question over to you. Do you think that you can create a website like this? Did it look kind of hard or is it easy compared to WordPress, for example? Like, remember, this is no WordPress. And that's the beauty. You just get started like in minutes with a free account and you are on the way to making whatever you want. All right, thanks so much for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. See you in the next video.